In this video, we're going to go over different ways to tell AutoCAD how to get to an exact point. There's four basic methods of doing it, and so we're going to go over them. Um, the first two methods use XY coordinates with X comma Y. The difference is they just measure from different points. So the first one is absolute, and what absolute does is it measures from the origin. And so if I look here, this is my origin where the X, Y meet. So X is positive going to the right, negative going to the left. Y is positive going up and negative going down. So if I drew a line, and I just used an alias, L for line, and I told it my first point is going to be at zero, comma zero. Oop. I need to turn dynamic off. So I'm going to use turn dynamic off. So I'm using absolute by default. So line zero comma zero, enter. So now I've got a line starting at the origin and going wherever I want it to go. So maybe I want it to go over one and up two. So I would type in one comma two. <clears throat> now let's say I want this line to start and go for another three inches straight out to the right. What would be the coordinates for that? Well, it would be, because we already have one on the X, so it would be four, comma, and we're already up two, so two. If I wanted this line to go down one, it would be zero, comma, negative one. Oh, no, it wouldn't, right? Because it'd really be four, comma, one. So I'm gonna undo just that last segment. Get four, comma, one, and there I go. Because remember, it's measuring all the time from the origin here. If I turn dynamic on, dynamic is using relative, which we'll talk about next by default. So if dynamic is on and I want to use absolute, I have to put the pound sign in. So I can tell it pound. And you can see it put in the pound sign. And now I can put in my coordinates. So I could say 2 comma 1. And it puts in that line going 2 over 1 up from, from the origin. And it'll say enter to get out of it. So in relative, <clears throat> we're no longer using the, the origin as our base point. We're using kind of wherever we are right now. So we can start anywhere on the screen. So again, I'm going to start kind of right here. So if I wanted this line to go straight over three like I did before, I just need to type three comma zero, and it does it. If I want to go down one, I just zero comma negative one. Because it's going from that last point, all it cares about is that new line segment. So now I can tell it to go negative two comma zero, negative one comma negative one. You can see as it's making its way around. So this is a real handy way. I like to use relative a lot, unless I'm doing something that it actually has fixed coordinates, like a map or something that yeah, it has real coordinates that I need to, to go off of. If dynamic is turned off, we just need to put that at sign in front of it. And there's still some commands e that we have to do that even with uh, dynamic turned on on. So the at sign forces it to be relative all the time. The next method is using relative still. And that's usually how we'll do it. Um, and we'll do polar coordinates. So now instead of using x, y coordinates, we're telling it a distance and an angle. So if I start here, and the way measured, the angles are measured in AutoCAD, as you can see, it's showing zeros out to the right. And we kind of go around counterclockwise in a positive direction. <clears throat> and this is kind of fooling you, but now it's measuring it from here going clockwise, and these are actually negative angles. So if I want it to be 30 degrees up, and five inches long, I'd say five less than 30. If I wanted to be 30 degrees going down and two inches long, I'd say two at negative 30. So that puts that in there. 
So you can kind of see how that works. If I set, wanted to go straight to the right, I could say one angle zero, and then put that in. <clears throat> one angle negative 90 would make it go down one. So that's relative polar. The next method is the one that I use most often. It's called dynamic distance and using the polar snap and tracking to, um, with it. So I'm going to turn polar tracking on here. And if I right click on that, I can see a list of different angles that it'll snap to. So if I draw a line, you can see now it's got a little green line, a little green dotted line coming out to the right. That's because it snapped in right at zero. If I move it up, it doesn't have that line anymore until I get to 45 degrees. And I'm not quite there, but I'm close enough that it jumped over to it. And as long as I have that green line, I know that that line is going to be dead on at 45 degrees. And I can just type a distance on how long I want that line to be. So if I want this to be three, just type three, enter. Just point it down, one, enter. And I can just point the direction I want to go and type how far I want it. <clears throat> if I want an angle that's different than what I have on my settings here, so let's say I've got it set at 45, but I do want it to be 30. I could use polar like I did before, or I could say I want it to be, I just hit tab. See, tab is switching between those two values. Go to the angle, I tell it I want that to be 30, and hit tab again. Now that line is me at 30, and I can either just drag it and click, or I can type in a distance that I want it to be, and hit enter, and it'll go to that distance. And so those are the different ways you can put an exact coordinates in AutoCAD.